All uh, right, little Freddie Savage. <laughs> I can't help it. Just, no, we'll Steve, I mean, Steve, I've been talking to you forever. <laughs> okay. Uh, coming on after Kathy Griffin. I know. Uh, you're going to be nice, right? I'll be very you're nice. Not that usual I can vicious. still feel the energy in the room. <laughs> it's still vibrating. <laughs> okay. I love it. All right, uh, Fred is with us. He and Rob Lowe co star in the new Fox series, The Grinder, about a lawyer played by Fred and his brother, an actor. Rob, who comes in, said, I can be a lawyer. I've played one forever. That's exactly right. right. Let's look at a clip here. What we're really upset about is the fact that you guys are lying to us right now. Two siblings locked in the stalemate of a lifetime. Neither one giving an inch. And Kadeen? Yes. Always appreciate your narration. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm happy to do it. You know what it reminds me of? When your dad broke his bedroom window and tried to blame it on me. Dad, you did that? No. That is not at all what happened. That's how I remember it. No, your grandfather just believes your uncle because he's a better actor. I always thought you were a tremendous actor. You just never gave yourself enough credit. Great, thank you. <laughs> all right. I have a confession. When I first read about the show, not knowing any of the background, I would, I thought Grinder, like the app Grinder. You want to be ashamed of yourself. I know, but I'm <laughs> I sure it, I wasn't the only one. I thought it was a sub sandwich from New Jersey. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it was about yeah, yeah. A, a delicious meat sandwich. A, a Grinder. Yeah. Uh, no, it's it, so the the show is named after the show that Rob is on on the show. Got Does that it. Make sense? So well, he plays a lawyer. Rob plays a, Rob is an actor who was uh, just finished a nine year run on a very successful legal show called Close. The Grinder. Yeah, right. And uh, it's a very kind of one of those very mm -hmm. self serious, okay. very kind of yeah. high flute bombastic yeah. legal shows that yeah. takes itself Star way too seriously. And so we're kind of poking fun here. at those kinds of shows a little mm -hmm. bit with the name. Uh, the Grinder. So the show ends, he comes back to Boise, and uh, like you said, Steve, he's like, well, I played a lawyer on TV, How I can be a lawyer in real life. How hard could it be? And uh, everyone seems to think this is a fantastic idea, and I feel like I'm the only voice of reason saying, like, guys, shouldn't he know anything about, like, the law or go to law school or pass a bar? Yeah. Um, but that's kind of like the central conflict of the show when it starts So you're off. like the smart family guy. The grounded guy. I'm the grounded guy. Yeah, yeah exactly. So I feel like, you know, Rob is the guy who everything kind of came easy to. Yeah. He's super talented, he's super good looking, he's, everyone adores him, uh, and I took the hard route. You know, like, I, I worked hard, I studied, I went to law school, I have a family, and uh, I'm trying to do everything right. And everything just comes very hard for me. And he every, does everything, and, everything comes yeah. so easy and to everybody Rob. loves him, right? Whatever everyone does, loves him yeah. and adores him. But the thing I really love about the show is that both of us really kind of want what the other person has. So uh -huh. Rob is, you know, admired and respected and everyone cheers for him. Uh, and that's kind of what I really want, you know, for my life. And he looks at me and I have a family. Yes. And I'm stable yeah. and I'm really loved and I have roots. And as a guy who's kind of come from this show business life, he doesn't have those deep connections. Mm -hmm. And that's what he really wants. Uh, so now you're an actor? I, I now. What happened? I don't know, Steve. I know you as the director. You Didn't know, they kind of have you to know me as everything. Arm? I love coming to talk. I've been coming to talk to you since, since you I were... was like, yeah, like yeah. this big. Yeah. I fit in your pocket. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I, I, I love coming to Wait, talk. Wait, didn't to they kind of twist your arm to get you to do the? You know, it wasn't too much of an arm twist. I've been, as Steve mentioned, I've been directing yeah. and producing behind the scenes yeah. for like ten years, and so this script came along, and you know, over the years, scripts have kind of come along, and and. Um, Nothing's really kind of been compelled me enough to to pull away from my directing career, uh, but this one was different. It was just so funny, and um, I love the people attached to it. Nick Stoller is a good friend of mine who gave me the script. Was an executive producer on the pilot, and Jake Kasdan directed it, and Andy and Jared, our our writers, are amazing, and um, Rob Lowe, of course, was part of it. And I, I couldn't I couldn't say no. And it, the the show just feels, and still feels, just so different. Um, mm -hmm. It's. Uh, at the core of it, it's a family comedy, you know, about this family trying to come together. But uh, the uh, the show within a show concept and how we kind of skewer Hollywood and the legal profession, and it just and, and you place it in as middle America as you can. Yeah, you know? take Boise. place in Boise, yeah. Idaho, which we felt was yes. a great place where it's a big enough of a city, it's a state capital. There's enough going on for stories, but at mm -hmm. the same time, it's a place where. Uh, if a Hollywood celebrity comes and moves in, it's a really big deal. Yeah. Question for you. Yeah. Yes. You will always be Kevin Arnold to people, and, and you still look the same, which, <laughs> do, do you find that people want to... Do they want just, to do this? Just you, Steve. Is that what it is? Like, you can't. Can. This is open to you yeah. all the time, whenever you want. I always want to do it when you're You are it. welcome. Oh, okay. Always welcome. But am I the only one? Well, the touching, yes. But, <laughs> but I will say, I've, people do still bring it up all the time, and I love it. I mean, the fact that 
I did something when I was so young that still resonates yeah. with people, yes. and they still talk about it. It's still meaningful, and now you know it's out on DVD, and people are sharing it with their kids and grandkids. You and look the same. It, yes. Seriously, it's really special. So you to didn't be part go through that, like that thing that some uh, actors do when they're too identified with role, saying, they don't "I am that. not that yeah. person. I am so and so." You know, honestly, every, look, I know that everything that I've done in show business since the show stems from that from in one way or another. At sure. a certain point, you walk on your own two feet, but all the opportunities that have come to me started there. Mm -hmm. So um, it, it, it's, it's, it changed and my life for the life better. And even your life experiences, like didn't you have your first kiss? No, the whole, yeah, absolutely. I mean, it changed every, every it impacted every aspect of my you life. You grew up with it. For the better. Yeah. And I feel like if people, if I felt like people weren't allowing me to do other things or grow or change, I think I might feel differently. But as you said, I've been directing, I've been producing, I've been acting in different roles. You also roles played, and, let me get this right, yes. Law and Order. Yes. Yeah. What did you play? I played an evil man, a bad guy, a, a killer, a, ba a bad guy, a bad guy yeah. who was killed by his own attorney. You have Which so is something we should do on, on the oh, grinder. Don't you what? love him? I love Don't him. Don't you love him? Well, where do you get all this energy? Um, well, I, uh, I'm sitting on an ice pack right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I sweat a lot in interviews, yeah. and I tried. Uh, ice packs, and I think it's going great. In oh, there Grindr, Eric, Steve's tonight, coming back 8 30 in. On Fox. All right, see you tonight. Check it out. It's a good one. Tonight, <laughs> Only you, Steve. I honestly was about to call you Kevin when you first Go ahead. One more. Get it in. Get it in. Get it in. Ah. Uh, all right. I don't know what I'm going to do next. You got to get it in while you can. <laughs>